Oh wait, I can upgrade my notebook, huh? Hello DIY techies! I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and in this episode of DIY in 5, we're going to show you a couple of hardware upgrades you can do even on a notebook. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to see more tips for speeding up your system. We've said it before on this series and we'll say it again. Switching from a traditional spinning hard drive to an SSD is the best thing you can do to revive your PC. Your system will feel much faster with the addition of an SSD. The transfer speeds are far superior to hard drives since there are no moving parts in SSDs. Not only that, but they certainly are rugged. There is no way that's covered by warranty. A less expensive option for an easy upgrade is adding more RAM. Your notebook's CPU can access data faster from its RAM than the hard drive or SSD. The more RAM it has, the more data it can store there for quick access. It will most likely take you longer to find the type of RAM that is right for your notebook than it is to physically add the RAM to your system. Luckily, we've got a handy memory search feature on our website that can help with that. No big deal because we love you. Did you ever think you could upgrade that aging processor in your notebook? Well, you can't, sorry. I know lots of us made the jump from desktop to notebook, but this is one of the drawbacks. There are fewer pieces of hardware to upgrade yourself in that slim little notebook. Advantage to the desktop PC here. But just because you can't upgrade all your hardware doesn't mean you can't make your current stuff faster. Cleaning up your existing system software could be the easiest and simplest solution. A cluttered hard drive with tens or hundreds of programs and apps that you never use could be another reason that your PC is so slow. The more files and applications you collect, the more muddled your hard drive becomes. You can speed up your notebook by removing unneeded programs that may include background processes, auto start entries, system services, and other things that can slow down your notebook. We'll add links to our Mac and Windows videos that show you how to take care of some basic system cleanup. So let's hear it. Whose notebook can handle the most RAM? Our little system here goes up to 16 gigs. Not too shabby. Who can do better? Let us know in the comments below. Also, ever wanted to know what kind of hardware it takes to run VR? Check out this video here. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and thank you so much for watching this episode of DIY in 5. See you next time.